everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to learn Glagol Zvatise to be called in present tense. So today's lesson is Zvatise. We use Glagol Zvatise when we want to ask for someone's name or when we want to say our name. You already know it because you know that you would ask Kako se zoveš, when you want to ask someone for a name, and that you would answer zovem se, when you want to say your name. So you already know how to use it in some sentences, to say kako se zoveš and zovem se. But today we are going to learn all forms of this verb. But first, let's put up some basics. So, you already know that in Croatian language we have jednina, singular, when we are talking about one person or one object, and množina, plural, when we are talking about two, three, four, five, and so on, persons or objects. So, we have singular and plural, jednina and Nožina. Also, we have pronouns. So, let's repeat it one more time. Ja, ti, on, ona, ono. These are singular pronouns. Mi, vi, oni, one, ona. These are plural pronouns. And the third important remark is that glagol zvatise consist two parts zvati which we can call main part and se this kind of verbs which normally have main part and then se are called reflexive verbs reflexive verbs are the verbs where action is going back to the subject so the action is going back to the subject. Another examples of a reflexive verbs are češljatise, to brush oneself, to širatise, to shower oneself, oblačitise, to dress oneself. For example, if you want to say I'm dressing myself, you would say oblačim se. So, zvatise it's also reflexive verb and it's important that you don't forget this se because we have another verb zvati and zvati means to call someone for example call someone on the phone you can say zovem gorana i'm calling goran on the phone or it can mean that you are yeah, shouting, Gorane, come here. Yeah, you are calling him. So that's glagol zvati. But zvati se, for example, when you say zovem se Goran, that means my name is Goran or I'm calling myself Goran. So there are two different verbs. Never forget se. Okay? So having these three things in the mind, Let's now see glagol zvatise in present tense. Let's start. Ja se zovem. Ti se zoveš. On, ona, ono se zove. Mi se zovemo. Vi se zovete. Oni, one, ona se zovu. Let's repeat it one more time. Ja se zovem. Ti se zoveš. On, ona, ono se zove. Mi se zovemo. Vi se zovete. Oni, one, ona se zovu. Let's see some examples. We have ja, crta, which means line. Jasna. How would you solve it? Yes, 
Ja se zovem Jasna. Let's see another one. We have One, Crta, Marina i Vesna. How will you solve that one? Yes, one se zovu Marina i Vesna. Let's see the third example. Mi, Crta, Pravin i Sanjay. How would you solve that one? Yes, mi se zovemo Pravin i Sanjay. So you see, it's not that hard. But you probably know that in Croatian language, we don't need to use pronouns when we speak or when we write, because normally the shape of the verb shows us who we are talking about. So we can also see how this verb is looking without pronouns. Okay? So let's see. Zovem se. Zoveš se, zove se, zovemo se, zovete se, zovu se. What you also probably noticed is when we don't have pronoun, when we have just a verb, then se always goes behind. So, zovem se. But when we have pronoun, then ja se zovem. Zovem se, ja se zovem. So you see, it's a bit different, depends, are you using pronoun or not? Let's now see some examples. So, we have crta, rahul, ja. So, how would you solve this one? Yes, you would say, zovem se, Rahu. Let's see another example. Crta, Mary i Jack. Mi. Yes, you would say, zovemo se Mary i Jack. Let's see the third one. We have Crta, Jan, On. Yes. Zove se Jan. Now you probably wonder when do you use pronoun and when not. Actually, the both versions are correct. Normally, I wouldn't say ja se zovem because it's not necessary to say it. But usually when I speak about other people, most of the time I would use pronouns. But that's up to you. And what about the negative form? Actually, it depends are you using pronouns or not. So, let's first see how the negative form looks like when you are using pronouns. So, when you have pronouns, then you would put ne between se and the main part of the verb. So, when you put ne between se and the main part of the verb, that means negation. It means no. Okay? So, it would look like this. Ja se ne zovem, ti se ne zoveš, on, ona, ono se ne zove, mi se ne zovemo, vi se ne zovete, oni, one, ona se ne zovu. Okay? So, it's quite simple. You just put ne between se and the main part of the verb. For example, ja se ne zovem Daria, ja se zovem Ana Maria. What if you don't use pronouns? Then you would put ne in front of the main part of the verb. Remember, when we don't use pronouns, then first we have the main part and then se. Yes? Zovem se. So now you just put ne in front of everything. Ne zovem se. 
So let's see some examples both with and without pronoun. So the first one is Srta Sanja Zovem se Anja. So the first sentence should be negative. How would you say it? Yes. Ne zovem se Sanja, zovem se Anja. Let's see the other one. One crta Lara i Vanessa. One se zovu Klara i Melisa. How would you solve it? Yes. One se ne zovu Lara i Vanessa. One se zovu Klara i Melisa. And finally, how do we ask questions with this verb? When we want to ask someone, what's your name? So, you already know it, right? You would say, kako se zoveš? So, let's see this example, kako se zoveš? So, when you have lagol zvati se and you want to ask a question, First, you would have a question word, kako. Yeah, so first you put kako, then you put this se, and then you put the main part of the word, depends who you are asking about. So you will not say normally, what's my name, but maybe sometimes you will use it. So you would say, kako se zovem. Kako se zovem? Yeah? Then the second one would be Kako se zoveš? When you're asking someone else. Then the third one, when you want to ask about the third person, which is not present here, you would say Kako se zove? And then if we speak about the plural, when it's more people, if you want to ask about the group that you belong, Kako se zovemo? Mi. Yeah. Kako se zovete? We. And kako se zovu? Keep in mind that if you want to politely ask someone about the name, then you would not use kako se zoveš, but you would use the plural form, which we learned before. You would say kako se zovete. Also, when you are asking questions, of course, you can use pronoun to indicate really who are you speaking about. So you can always say kako se ja zovem, kako se ti zoveš, kako se on zove, but most of the time we don't do that. So it's not a mistake, you can do it and especially in the early phase of learning it can be good for you to always remember the pronoun who are you speaking about, but it's not necessary. It's not a mistake, but it's not necessary. Okay, I hope that you learned something new and I hope that you enjoy this lesson. So keep learning and see you next time.